11 great animalistic monsters who made mediocre movies awesome. Ever since filmmakers mastered special effects, monster features became a popular genre with audiences. In some cases, even the absence of a concrete plot, the monster drives the movie. People can overlook the flaws as they are left awestruck by the features of the monster creature. These dreaded animalistic creatures helped in enhancing some mediocre movies and make for an entertaining watch. This video is all about these scary monsters and how their remarkable presence and antics helped the movies flourish despite their shortcomings. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. Morwen, Outlander. Kynan is a man from a far off world who is transporting a dreaded predator, Morwen. His spacecraft crash lands on Earth in the kingdom of Herat, ruled by Vikings. The monstrous creature manages to escape, and Kynan is in hot pursuit. The locals mistake him for being responsible for the massacre that Morwen created, and now he must use his advanced technology to bring down the lethal predator. This monster feature, in this case, has an innovative concept as the makers introduce an alien creature in the land of Vikings. Morwen was designed as somewhat of a combination of a bull, dragon, and a gorilla. It can run at a great speed and is armed with a set of menacing interlocking teeth like a crocodile. The makers even added a human touch to the creature, and despite its brutality, you will feel for it like you do while watching King Kong. With a gigantic height of about 15 feet, the visual appearance was perfected with some top-notch lighting and special effects. The artist responsible for Morwen, Patrick Totopoulos, deserves all the credit, while the famous director, Howard McCain, also contributed to the good work. The creature is bioluminescent, and while it hunts in the woods, one cannot see it unless it reveals itself. The strategy of drawing out its prey by using light is also pretty interesting, given that the Vikings had no proper lights at night. This movie would have been nowhere near as popular if the creature wasn't so terrifying. Come on, mother. The Cave Monster. The Cave. A team of cave divers was exploring some Romanian cave ruins. Their escape routes were cut off, and they got stuck in the ruins. The only problem is that they're not alone. There are some bloodthirsty, monstrous creatures that live down below, and the divers have to survive with nowhere to run. The best of creature effects depended on the craftsmanship of the artists and special effects teams. Patrick Totopoulos is one name that inspires faith in this genre, and the man has delivered time and again with some exciting creatures. The script only said that the creatures have to be scary with bat-like abilities to fly around in the darkness of the cave. The designers put on their thinking caps and put together a horrifying creature with three horns and sensory whiskers on the back. The mighty jaws on the gigantic head look fairly intimidating. Not only did the creature look terrifying, but it also has significant intelligence and tactical knowledge. They built a total of seven of these monster suits for the filming of the creatures. Luma Pictures handled the digital effects for the scenes where the monster would run or fly around. One of the best features of this monster is the sheer details that went into the looks of it. Ultimately, it turned out to be an enjoyable film, courtesy of the remarkable work on the creatures. Pred Alien Alien vs. Predator Requiem. A spaceship crashes into a rural Colorado town, and suddenly dangerous creatures are on the loose. Aliens and predator species begin a deadly fight for supremacy, and human life is threatened in the middle of this extraterrestrial battle. The sheriff and a handful of residents must team up to get the better of these creatures. Their biggest test is possibly against the invincible Pred Alien, the most indestructible monster. 
The studio was so impressed with the concept of Pred Alien that they had the scripts rewritten to portray it as the main antagonist. They turned against the initial plans where the Pred Alien was supposed to be dead before the ship crashes. The grotesque Pred Alien species had been previously observed in comic books and video games. These creatures are taller than the human spawn xenomorphs and also the Predators. Their lightning-fast strikes and brute strength make them a force to be reckoned with. Such is the strength of their thick hide that even the hardest blows and explosions do them little damage. The movie failed to live up to the expectations and is often termed as the worst film in the series. However, the Pred Alien impressed the viewers and helped the movie acquire decent box office collections. Johnson, Davis, that you? Kothoga, the Relic. The deadly creature, Kothoga, roams around the Chicago Field Museum. A few gruesome murders bring the attention of the security forces to the matter. A policeman and a biologist try spotting the creature in the corridors of the museum. However, the elusive demonic force seems to evade them successfully. They race against time as the gala opening of the museum is coming close, and the creature must be eliminated before then. Kothoga is literally the worst of your nightmarish creatures served to you on screen. Everything about the creature, from the reptilian slit green eyes, the humped back, the scaly body, or the deadly fangs, appeal to the viewer. With the sharp claws and teeth, this creature is quite a handful and almost seems invincible. Kothoga is nocturnal by nature, and its poor eyesight is substituted by its keen sense of smell that helps it to hunt. This massive monster with reddish eyes was almost 15 feet in length and 6 feet in height. The sound of its heavy breathing would make your blood run cold. The designing of such a creature demands expertise, and in charge of the proceedings was none other than Peter Hyams. He wanted advanced designing for the creature and didn't intend it to be just another man in a bodysuit. Haugen ensured that there were no glitches with the diverse movements of the creature and handled the mechanical details with innovation and skill. There were some limitations with the filming of some scenes where Kothoga was to be climbing a wall. For these scenes, VIFX from Los Angeles constructed a digital counterpart for these shots. All we can say is that the results have been worth all their effort. See you got. We need to find that girl. Now you can make this peaceful. Or you can make it hard. Grant Monster Slither After a flaming meteorite crashes in the dark woods of a small town, an alien plague seems to be taking over. The first victim is a businessman named Grant, and there seem to be some unexplainable changes to his body. The extraterrestrial attack of slithering parasites turns him into a hideous monster that has an insatiable hunger for meat. Is there any way to stop the Grant Monster and the slithering army from outer space? Unlike most of the entries in this list, Grant is a human who is established as a wealthy businessman. When he gets infected by the alien parasite, he dies, but the resulting entity that made him live also preserved some of his characteristics. He still loves his wife, although the transformations make him a monster. The appearance is somewhat like a giant, bloodthirsty, meat-eating squid with dreadful tentacles. The way his slimy physique sucks in innocent people into his stomach is comical at times. Despite the limited resources, the makers did a great job with the special effects. The scene where Grant slithers across the field, unaware he's being surrounded, was shot with the help of numerous puppeteers who were later digitally erased from the shot. James Gunn is a veteran of Troma Studios and is no stranger to creature features. He ensures that the absence of a proper storyline hardly bothers the viewer as they sink deeper into this fun-filled B-movie with the antics of the Grant monster. The Humanoid Crawlers The Descent A cave expedition goes terribly wrong when the explorers get stuck in a cave network due to a rockfall. 
To make matters worse, they realize that the caves are home to a strange breed of predators. These humanoid, bloodthirsty crawlers lurk in the deepest and narrowest holes in the caves. As they suffocate in the claustrophobic environment miles under the earth, these creatures are trying to hunt them down. The director, Neil Marshall, described these creatures in the simplest of terms. He called them cavemen who never left their caves. The humanoid crawlers are basically a human subspecies that adapted themselves for the cave environment. They evolved and bred in the dark of the caves and are completely blind with zero exposure to light. These creatures are stealthy and ruthless hunters who torment the explorers throughout the movie. The humanoid crawlers are not exactly intelligent, but they do have the instincts to hunt together in a pack to get their prey. They're fast and can scale the walls of the caves with great speed, making them effective hunters. The scariest part about these monsters was not as much in the special effects as it was in the eerie concept. The production team still managed a decent job, and people enjoyed all the action as these creatures stalked the innocent victims. Psychomatic Offspring – The Brood Frank's ex-wife is under the care of a crazy psychologist who performs some new techniques to breach the psychological blocks in her. She is transformed into this psycho who can produce monstrous deformed offspring that attack those she resents. Frank suspects a connection between a few gruesome murders, the changing behavior of his wife, and the injury marked on his daughter after a visit to her. However, it isn't easy to stop these psychomatic offspring. When David Cronenberg is the director, you always expect the unthinkable. He does it yet again in this movie, and the psychomatic offspring are quite a sight. These are called the broodlings, and they carry out the murderous actions of their mother's subconscious. These dwarf-like creatures are ferocious in their attacks, and once they have locked on to their targets, there is no escape. These creatures are colorblind, toothless, and devoid of a navel, which indicates that they don't exist through natural human birth. It comes to the fore that Frank's wife parthenogenetically bore these children who could respond to her rage. The idea of this movie apparently hit David Cronenberg while he was involved in a prolonged custody battle for his daughter with his ex-wife. The brood dies when the crazy wife is strangled to death by Frank, thus concluding the frenzy that continued for so long. Killer Bigfoot – Abominable A man was widowed and handicapped after a terrible accident. In his wheelchair-bound, desperate state, he gets the help of a therapist to return to the place of his trauma. He starts living in a cabin in the woods while trying to move on with his life. However, destiny has other plans for him. The forest is home to a dangerous creature that stalks a group of women who live in the house next door. The man tries to warn them about the killer Bigfoot, but he is unable to do so due to his condition. When the creature moves into the women's house, it is about to be absolute mayhem. The movie Abominable offers a cool twist to the Bigfoot mythology. This entertaining creature feature has the dreaded killer Bigfoot that looks like a man-beast. It is a menacing killer with significant stalking skills. As the furry monster attacks the group of women, the man does everything that he can to get help, but in vain. There is a Hitchcockian twist to the creature feature, and it is a nail-biter from start to finish. The film is devoid of CGI, which means that the killer Bigfoot is just a man in a suit. However, the suit was well made to eliminate the cheap-looking production design. Some of the facial movements of this creature were achieved through robotic movements. While you can't compare it to the modern creature flicks with the state-of-the-art special effects, it manages to maintain the eerie ambiance and makes for a thrilling watch. Monster The Monster 
A late night road trip turns into a nightmare for a mother-daughter duo. As they drive through the deserted roads on a stormy night, they have a collision that damages their car. Stuck in the middle of nowhere, things get worse when they realize that a terrifying evil monster is lurking in the woods. Now, they must make the best use of their wits to survive the night. If you appreciate practical effects instead of CGI, chances are that you will love the creature effects in this movie. The atmospheric lighting and smart camera movements make things intriguing. The best thing about the monster here is that you can perceive it to be the psychological monster of the mother who is an addict and vulnerable. Even if you look past the symbolism of the creature, it's still entertaining to watch it in action. For much of the movie, the monster is not revealed, and this adds to the suspense. The scenes with the brutal attacks of the monster are pretty vicious and not for the faint-hearted. It looks intimidating, and the setting makes things scarier. Overall, the monster might not be all about the creature itself, but it still packs quite a punch with its creepy appearance. Mermaid, she-creature. Mermaids might be seemingly beautiful and harmless, but we have often come across movies that explore the dark side of the creatures. In this movie, a mermaid is abducted and being taken to America. However, when the ship loses its way, all hell breaks loose as the mermaid starts to show its deadly side. When Stan Winston's studio took up the challenging task of managing the special effects for the mermaid, they had one thing clear. They wanted to deviate from the norms and create a creature that would be organic and dangerous. Even with a limited budget, it didn't look for one second like a woman donning a mermaid costume. The creepiest thing about the mermaid here is that it can transform from its initial appearance to an abyssal creature. Everything from the prosthetic webbed hands and hair design was perfected by the team. The split tail design for the mermaid was also pretty impressive, and something no one had ever seen. In the climax of the movie, when the mermaid reveals its real monstrosity, the audience is bound to shudder, and their fascination for mermaids is going to take a hit. The makers did thorough research on the mermaid mythology, and this helped them portray the creature in its worst form. Maybe mermaids won't remain your sweet Disney character after you watch this movie. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.